Hi friends, welcome to Moan Art with Mrs. Holland. Today we are going to be drawing an animal. I'll give you three hints. Rawr. That's hint number one. Hint number two, I have a big mane when I am a male, when I'm a boy lion. Number three, I live in a pride. There's a group of this animal. Who guessed a lion? I knew you would. You guys are such smart thinkers. Now, we are not doing a non-fiction lion today. We're doing a fictional lion, so more of a cartoon lion. I will show you tips on how to make it look less cartoony. And then on your own, you might figure out, think of ways that you can make yours look more realistic to go with any non-fiction writing that you might be doing. For my Mon art today, as always, I have an eight and a half by eight and a half piece of paper. You can use any size you'd like. I have a pencil and I have my crayons. If you would prefer to use a black marker to draw your outlines, you can absolutely do that. I'm just using what I have here. I'm gonna be starting with the oval for our lion's head. This is not the mane, this is the face of our lion. I'm gonna be drawing an oval about that big. Remember, if you make it too big, you won't have space for the rest of your drawing. If you make it too small, you won't have space to add any details. Now I'm gonna add two little ears, one on this side and one on that side. And then I'm gonna draw the eyes. I'm gonna try not to do mine too cartoony um, and you could try to, or you could do any sorts of eyes that you like to do. I'm gonna draw a rainbow curve that way and then come down. I'm gonna do that on the other side, rainbow, and then come down on the bottom. And then I'm gonna add a curve line going up like that. Now I'm going to add a nose and I'm gonna try really hard to make this nose more nonfiction than cartoony. So I'm gonna draw a line that goes straight across and then I'm gonna do a little curve C and then curve down. And do that on the other side. Curve backward C and curve down. Then I'm gonna draw a straight line down and do a curve on this side and a curve on this side. Now, if you watched my video about uh, nonfiction, about the book that I read about nonfiction lions, you would have learned that on a lion's cheeks right here, they have dots and those dots are different, as a different pattern depending on the lion. That was something new that I learned. So you can tell a lion apart by the dots they have on their uh, little lips there. And I'm also gonna add three whiskers on either side. Now uh, this next part is going to make it a little bit more cartoony, a little bit more fictional. I'm gonna draw the mane and I'm gonna do scallops or curves or cloud, whatever you wanna call it, all around my whole lion. There, my lion face is done. He looks pretty cool, actually. All right, I'm gonna skip some space to about here, and I'm gonna draw a Y. I'm gonna do a V, and then I'm gonna do a straight line down. Now this line here, I'm gonna draw straight across. So watch what I'm doing, a horizontal line across. And then on either side, I'm gonna draw a curve and a curve. So those are his front paws. Then we're gonna draw his back paws. So we're gonna come here again. We're gonna go all the way over and curve, all the way over and curve. Now all we have to do is connect his head to his body. So I'm gonna draw a cur slightly curved line down. Slightly curved line down. I can draw the, the ground. Now we learned in that nonfiction book that I read that they live in areas that look kind of like desert. I'm actually gonna refer to it again because I can't remember what it was called. Give me one second. Um, ooh, where did it go? Oh my goodness. So I wanna draw where they live the right way. Here it is. They live in a savanna. That's right. So you see the kind of dry, grassy area. Doesn't have very many trees, does have some. So I'm just gonna kind of draw a few little lines here. 
I'm not going to be doing a, a lot of green on my coloring of the grass because there it's not really green. You notice it was mostly brown. And then because the lions live where it's so hot, I'm going to draw sun. You can draw your sun however you like to do your suns. I like to do a circle and then long line, short line, like a pattern. Long line, short line. And now I am ready to color. You can decide how you want to color your lion. I'm going to be using mostly orange, yellow, and brown. I'm also going to use a little bit of black. I'm actually going to start on my black first, and I'm just going to make this his the line on his mouth just a little bit darker. And then I'm going to take my orange, and I'm going to color his mane to make it look really awesome. I could also add a little bit of yellow to his mane. Now I'm doing this a little bit quicker than you guys should do it because I want to show you a finished piece, but I know that your coloring will be much better and you won't have any white showing on your lion, right? I know it. You guys are such good artists and colors. Now I'm going to take my brown and color his nose kind of a, I'm going to press down a little bit harder with the brown. I'm going to color here, draw, not color, but draw on his eyes there with the brown and then color his eyeball yellow. And then I'm going to take my brown and I'm going to very lightly color his ears and the rest of his face. I'm doing that really lightly not coloring over his eyes because I want the rest of that eye to be white. And then I'm going to color his body this light color also, but you'll notice when I, after I do this, I'm going to also use some yellow and orange to go in and just make it look a little bit nicer. So I'm going to go in here and color a little bit of orange. A little bit of orange around his feet. You can make them look a little bit more realistic with your coloring. And I know that I have some artists in my class who their lions are probably going to look a million times better than my lion. Whatever you do, of course, my class has the saying that we like to say, and that's that you try your best. Ooh, I love how the brown looks once you put yellow over it. What do you guys think? I think that made it look so much nicer. Ooh, I love that. I'm going to color my sun. You can decide if you want to color your sky. I'm not going to do it today, but you can also always, um, if you have a naked crayon, you could do that rubbing on the sky or you can just leave it white. Sometimes when we try to color a whole space like that, it actually kind of makes our picture look not as good. I did yellow and orange for my sun, and then I'm gonna come down here, and I'm gonna do a lot of brown. I'm gonna do some yellow and some green as well. But you saw in that picture, it is pretty dry where lions live. So I'm not going to do big green grass like I would, like I did for my Easter bunny. I'm going to do more brown, only a little bit of that green. And my picture is mostly done. I can go in and I can do a little bit more careful coloring, make sure I don't have any of that those white spots since I kind of rushed through it. I can give it a little bit more definition on the ears and just make it look a little bit nicer. But there's my lion. I hope that you enjoyed drawing yours as well. I'll see you next time, friends. See you later.